Welcome back to Dominion Dispatch, where today we're zoning in on the gardening map of Virginia. Knowing your specific growing zone can make all the difference whether you're a seasoned gardener or just getting your gloves dirty. Virginia, with its varied climate, is home to several USDA plant hardiness zones. From the chilly mountain peaks to the mild coastal areas, we're here to break down these zones and what they mean for your garden. Virginia's growing zones span from 5B to 8A. Each zone represents a unique climate area defined by the average annual minimum winter temperature. Understanding these zones equips gardeners to decide which plants are most likely to thrive in their region. Starting with Zone 5B, found in Virginia's highest elevations, like the mountains of Highland County. This zone experiences cold winters, with temperatures dropping to minus 15 to minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Gardeners in this zone tend to focus on cold, hardy plants and vegetables that can withstand severe frosts, such as cabbage, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Spring planting starts later, and fall crops need to be harvested before the early frosts. Then we have zones 6A and 6B. These zones cover much of the Shenandoah Valley and some northern parts of the state. Here, temperatures range from minus 10 to minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit in 6A and minus 5 to 0 degrees in 6B. This moderate range allows for a broader variety of plants, including many fruit trees like apples and pears, which benefit from the chillier winter to break dormancy properly. Next are Zones 7A and 7B, where much of the population of Virginia gardens, including areas around Richmond and Roanoke, with minimum temperatures between 0 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit in 7A and 5 to 10 degrees in 7B, gardeners can grow a wide array of perennials, annuals, and vegetables. This zone is ideal for both spring bulbs and fall vegetables and supports lush ornamental landscaping. Lastly, we have Zone 8A dominating the coastal regions, including parts of Virginia Beach and Norfolk. This zone rarely sees extreme cold, with temperatures dipping only to 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. This milder climate allows for an extended growing season, where gardeners can experiment with more tropical and semi-tropical plants, such as camellias and certain citrus varieties. So what does all this mean for you, the Virginia gardener? By understanding your zone, you can maximize your garden's potential, extend your growing seasons, and choose plants best suited to your local environment. Whether you're planting a vegetable garden, designing a landscape, or simply choosing a few container plants for your patio, knowing your hardiness zone is your first step towards gardening success. Remember to check the USDA's official plant hardiness zone map online to pinpoint your exact zone based on your zip code. This tool is invaluable for planning a garden that will grow and thrive season after season. Thank you for tuning into Dominion Dispatch. If this video helped you better understand your gardening zone, or if you have more gardening tips for your fellow Virginians, drop a comment below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more local insights. Until next time, keep your gardens growing and your green thumbs up.